Anna wants me to vlog sort of uh, our day to day here. I was gonna vlog. Are you good? You just wanna be me. Make sure to put this in so all your subscribers know you're a fake dad. So basically, the girls, all the girls in Lennon, have been home for how long? So long. Like a month. Because we, and we have a Hawaii. If you're going to talk, I'm going to put you on camera. No, please. So we left the week before spring break to go to Hawaii, came back, it was spring break, and then everything closed down. So, and this is like Anna's been working from home. I've self-quarantined myself for the past five days. Uh, so I've been here. Roland literally has not even like online school. So Ava actually gets up in the morning and gets ready and gets dressed. She gets dressed, puts her makeup on. Oh my gosh. She has her iPad. Lenny Lou is over there jumping off the couch watching. What are you watching? Archibald? Archibald. Archibald? Archibald Netflix. It's pretty funny, huh? Haley said I'm extra because like I get up and do stuff. But it's just being productive. It's, it's not being fun. extra. Do not video me. <laughs> Too late. This is what a straight A student looks like. I have all A's. Straight A's. I've, all, I've had all A's all year. Haley couldn't relate. Here is what a fluctuating A slash B student looks like. So we have not gone anywhere pretty much all weekend. We'll figure out what we want for dinner and I gotta go to H-E-B and hopefully they have toilet paper. Okay, another problem is that I can't get a haircut. And my hair is it's getting out of control up here. So as of yesterday, we've had 36 cases of uh, the coronavirus in McLennan County. McLennan County has is Waco and the surrounding area. It's about 250,000 people. The city has been on, uh, you know, what do you call it? Shelter in place. So you're supposed to stay home unless you're essential. Seems like everything's essential. I'm at HEB, I'm about to go to the store. Every, I think everybody said everything there is to say about this. You know, social distance, stay away from people. When you go to the store, wipe down the carts. You know, I'll tell you what, this video, I will show you the procedure we go through to when, when, I, when I go to the store, when I go anywhere, get fast food, when I get home and what I, what I do, what we, what we do and what Anna came up with. I mean, when we came back from Hawaii, like the first of March, Anna said, here's what we're gonna do before anybody else was doing it, before they were, were even talking about it on the news, the proper way to, uh, you know, unload your groceries and, and how, to, how to do all that. So that's what this video will be about. Right, so I just got back from HEB. Let me tell you the routine. So first thing I do before I touch any of the, the groceries is I open the door. So the door's open, so I don't have to touch the groceries that could have been contaminated and then open the door. So the door's open, put everything on the floor in the garage. I take everything out of the bags, clean everything off with a Clorox swap, and then take them in. It takes forever. But it's what you gotta do. It's what you gotta do. Actually, I'm gonna see how long it takes me to bring all the groceries in. It's 106, and uh, I got quite a few groceries, so here I'll show you. So I have my wipes right here, and uh, I'm gonna take everything out of the bags Wipe it all down, and then take it inside on the on the counter. That's pretty much how we do it. See how long it takes. Okay, well it took almost exactly 20 minutes to put the groceries up. Even though it's a pain in the butt, I think it's what you need to do keep you and your family safe and uh, you know better safe than sorry <laughs> 